Alrighty, I hope everybody can see us now. I don't know if the game is live already. Let's see. Oh, the stream is gone for whatever reason. Okay. Well, that stream stopped. Okay, we have to get a live feed here. Um, it's not working at the moment. Okay, there it is. Yeah, restart it. Restart this. So yeah, first map seems to be Echo. All right, looks like it's stable. And you need to uh, click this to turn off the chat. Yeah. Right. Okay. Ladies and wait a second. Uh, local recording stuff. Did you change the recording? Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WCA to the first match of group number C. It's the return of the king. It is Moon. He's back. And his opponent here is Sushi Shi, the strongest Chinese night elf. My name is Neil. Right next to me, Remo Demo. Welcome everyone, this is day number one, as Neo is saying, it is just starting and this is the first match and yeah, it is the return of the King Moon. He has been absent for a long time, he has been in the army for a long time, but now he is here at WCA in a group full of Night Elves and the first opponent he needs to take care of is Shishi, the Night Elf powerhouse from China. And of course, this is the biggest tournament of all time. The ascension to the summit of professional Warcraft starts right now here in Yinchuan, China. On uh, the right side, we have Moon as the red night elf. On the left side, we have Sushi Shi as the blue night elf. A little bit confusing um, because it's turned around here, but whatever. So, Group C, super interesting. All four night elves together with Watchy Fridge and Lawlight. But all the four night elves play the matchup very, very differently. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Watchy Rich is known for his bare mirror. He's sometimes called Robot Rich, but hold that thought. We have an engagement right here. The two demon hunters meeting for the first time. They are now both level 3. But yeah, Moon, as it seems, has been playing quite a bit of talents recently. And that is not really the standard meta game. But as we can see, in his main base right here, he does have the Hunter's Hall. So that certainly points towards bears. And by the way, it's not late, as we're used to seeing from many from Europe. And here we go. Double Angel of Lore. This is going to be bears. This is a typical bear mirror, as we so often see on Aqua Isles, of course. You know what, Remo, what is so important on Echo Alts? There's only one thing. Our stream minimized. <laughs> that's also important, but yeah, that's only one shop. And uh, that one shop is in the middle of the map, and both players want to get the heal scrolls, want to get the invuls, and of course that will be a big point of contention. Because on most maps there are two, but on Echo, that is the uh, special thing here, there's only one. And getting the Naga early, as Moon is doing right here, gives him a lot of map control. He wants to have a second hero as quickly as possible, and he is the first player to be at the shop here and probably purchase some of those valuable items. Yeah, we know that Moon is playing really, really good against the humans like TH and Inf. We, we, we saw that on the Natty's ladder. Um, but we don't. Uh, we did. We didn't know how his matchup against Night Elf is until yesterday, when uh, the Koreans and the Europeans went to an internet cafe to practice, and Moon beat Law Lion in Night Elf Mirrors six to zero. But now Sushi has to be careful with his Demon Hunter. There is an expansion from him as well. Oh, Moon is chasing him. Is there mana anymore? We don't know. Oh, there is a bit, but not enough. There is boots for the Demon Hunter of Sushi, so he will get away. And as we see here in the main base, Moon's Ancient of Lore, super super late. Yeah, and actually the colors are kind of confusing because in the overlay we see that to the right Shishi is portrayed as red, but in the game Moon is actually red, as we can see right here from the name, and Shishi is blue. So Shishi is to the left, he's the blue Nile, and Moon is to the right. And yeah, Moon is going for an expansion early. This is very unusual, oh yeah, right. and this opens him up to a, a lot of potential aggression. Be, uh, that he's gonna have to face. And by the way, Moon doesn't have a second hero yet. Usually, Shishi is the guy who every now and then uses the solo Demon Hunter. But in a late game without a big advantage, that can backfire heavily. And here we see Moon with quite a few mercenaries. And I imagine he's gonna try to put the pressure on right now. Uh, definitely looks like it. Maybe a quick visit uh, to the shop first. But Demon Hunter's exchange mana burns once again. Moon running away. He's got one clause of attack already. So he's hitting very, very hard, but he has to run away. Oh, the slow from the Dryad, the slow from the Naga! It, uh, of course, stacks up, so he gets slower and slower and slower. Is there something to heal him? Nope, but he doesn't need him. Two Claws of Attack for Moon, plus the Circlet of uh, Nobility. I really like his movement in the middle of the map here. He's just trying to buy time to get his, ancient, uh, his Tree of Life to get down there. 
But he has bought some time, yes, but now Shishi arrives. And where is Moon's army? What can he put up against this? I mean, it's not that much. It's a Dryad, it's an Archer, and it's two Mercenaries. And of course, the two heroes. That's not that much, but really, what does Moon have? So far, we've basically... He has a very hard-hitting Demon Hunter with plus, 18 uh, plus 14 damage. Yeah, but as you said before, the double slow, that's a lot of kiting coming, and he needs some bears. But then again, those bears can also be kited. He's going for the Ancient of War for the moment, but bears are coming slowly for Shishi. And when they arrive, that makes things really tough. And only 40 supply for Moon. Moon has bears. But I'm no not master. really sure. No, it seems to be adept here, but then he has Rejuvenation uh, to heal his Demon Hunter up. He has a Berserker. Oh, Lightning Shield casted on the Demon Hunter of Shishi, but he can't do damage here. There's a Wisp attached to Dispel, but uh, the tree of life is in deep, deep danger. Okay, here he comes with Lightning Shield again. Hard hitting, but Rejuvenation saves the Demon Hunter. He's just buying time. He wants to save his expansion. He has two bears now. Yeah, he, he has abolished magic right now, I believe. He just didn't have it just a second ago. And master training must be finishing here for Moon. We still see only 41 supply. That's not that much. And of course, no second here. The Demon Hunter will need to carry this. And there we see the first abolished magic coming in. Another Reju coming out. Mana burn. Now both Demon Hunters are out of mana. Oh, master training is ready. And we all know what that means. Siege Bears coming in. Sushi on the run. There are four bears already. And Moon is actually holding this. Moon is actually holding this, he has the bare numbers and he will soon have enough to fend this off. Well, he already has enough to fend this off, but what, what's Shishi's uh, follow-up here? I don't think he has a backup expansion after this. Oh, wait, there's something creeping at his natural, yeah, I think. it could be a Tree of Life. We're not sure at the moment, picking up the tome as he walks along. Here comes a Riju, and now maybe an actual fight is going to start, but there's too many bears. He can't yeah. fight this. He can't fight this, but maybe with the support of the trees in his own base, and of course the moon juice might be a possibility, but so many units low here. The, of course the troll brothers need some healing. And it looks pretty damn promising if I'm seeing this correctly for the Korean. I would love to see if there's a tree of life down there. Of course, we are right now capturing the Chinese stream, so we unfortunately can't control the mouse ourselves. All right, and now Moon at the shop getting oh. an Inimus potion. He wants to get the mana burn, the one that he has out and target a valuable opponent, enemy, unit or hero. He's creeping some more, getting level four. And I don't think there's an expansion there. No, no. Shishi, he, he put all of his eggs into one basket, into that one push, but he, he just didn't do it quick enough. He gets one bear for free there. That's a very good pickoff for him. And there's a mana bear onto the Naga. He wants to get her dry. He doesn't want all that cold arrow to deal with, to have to deal with. Still Moon plays the Demon Hunter solo. Level 4 for him. That means level 2 evasion. Um, that means a lot of tankiness. But Shishi is coming again. He has a spell of protection, if I saw that correctly. And he's coming for the Tree of Life. What does Moon have? I think like 5 bears. Oh, one more pickup here. The slow comes in, but no damage follow-up. Town portal even by Moon. Yeah. He needs to get that as quick as possible. By the way, he has no staff, so he can't save his bears. Shishi, on the other hand, he can. And this is the attack oh. that the Chinese needs to make work. He needs to win this game pretty much right here because the expansion is running. And here comes the engagement. Berserker in a bad position to start things off. And the micro is coming in. Well, nice lightning shield. Look at that thing go. But it's taking a lot of damage. The rejuvenation on the demon are coming in, but being dispelled very quickly. He needs to be very careful. He has an invul. He's retreating for now. But Moon, he has so many bears. It looks absolutely gorgeous for Moon here, and oh boy, um, as the fight continues, the Naga is leveling up, and again the demon has been healed up. Shield scroll coming in right now. Bear numbers are still pretty healthy for Moon, but they're dropping quickly in HP, and the staff cannot save all of them, even if he even has one. I'm not sure. And more bears coming for Shishi, and Shishi, the Chinese, he might just be turning this. He might just oh, be turning oh, this. He's losing a lot, and is so reliant on his Demon Hunter now. Shishi's Demon Hunter dropping a bit. The Demon Hunter of Moon needs to pick up the pieces now. Oh, Shadow Priest going down, but he's in trouble. There is one big heal potion, if I see this correctly. Oh no, it's Shishi. Shishi with the heal potion. Moon on the run. And now it's time to tear down this tree. And this, as we said before, the 
the attack that he had to make work, and he did make it work. Now coming in with one more bear, the invul, the healing, everything's been popped. But even if he kills the Naga, which he's not going to, would that be enough? Another staff saves another unit for Shishi, but another staff as well, saving a bear for Moon. But he's being repelled. He's being driven back into his base to heal up, and those siege bears should make quick work of the tree as we see two more bears coming in. Reju for Moon as well. He needs to hold this expansion. He needs to hold it with everything he can. The Wisps are repairing, but we of course know. Siege Bears, they deal so much damage again. Trying to go for the Naga, but the healing keeps her alive. And now the Demon on Moon's side needs to be careful as he kill kills one more bear. The Naga, that's his one ticket to victory, but there's more bears for more Riju. And that's it, I think. Can he really oh. power through this nice dispel from the Wisp? He's coming after the Naga over and over and over again. She's walking, she's running, one she's more. trying to save her life. He has the greater healing, but he doesn't get Naga it, guys. down at level 5 for the Demon Hunter now. Finally, the level advantage on the Demon Hunter. Maybe this will bring Moon back into this game. Will it be the first defeat for him, or can he come back? That's the question. Of course, it's not level 6, but the expansion is still alive. He arrived just in time to fend off the Naga. The, so the, the Wisp could do their work, but it's still the big advantage for Shishi. Five bears versus three. Oh man, but Moon, he has climbed up in supply again. He was down to like 30, but now he's up at 47 again. And there's no Naga now to keep this demon at bay. This level 5 demon hunter, but as you said, so many bears, four bears, and they all have roar. They're fighting against bears without roar, and there's one dryad here to slow as well. He's trying to go for the hero again. Trying to go for the first hero. That was his ticket to stay in this game. Kill that hero, the Naga. But the demon hunter is just running away, and the bears are still standing strong. Looking good, of course, Moon trying to buy some time now, his expansion will pay off in the next couple of minutes, if it uh, hasn't already. Oh, Sushi is not paying attention, he will lose this bear for sure. And by the way, tier 3, single hero, level 5, that oh, means he yes. will get to level 6 very, very quickly. And we see the experience here, one third of the way there, and but the expansion is gone. Oh boy, the bears in the meantime, they kill the tree finally in the third attempt. All good things are three, as we say in Germany. But yeah, are there any upgrades on the bears of Shishi? I'm not sure. Uh, would be great to take a look. And as we see right now, Shishi is making his way down to pretty much one of the last um, creep camps of this map. And then he will be level five as well but perhaps he will not be level 6 as quickly. I think that right now is Moon's win condition. He's down in supply by so much. It's 20 supply. That is incredibly much in a Night of Mirror. And being down a hero as well, having only one hero to work with, he is in such a tough position right now. The only way really I can see him coming back is that level 6 Demon Hunter with the ultimate, and with the Metamorphosis. What an opening it would be! for this tournament to see an ultimate, THE ultimate of the game right away. But it's definitely not over. It's still Moon. It's still the best player of all time making his comeback here. So how is this gonna get game uh, continue to play out? He has an Invis Demon Hunter once again on the Prowl. Moon, this entire time, Moon is in no upkeep. Shishi is in upkeep, so he's making less money. But once that pays off, will Moon have had the time to get an army big enough to compete? The upgrades could make a big difference. I wish we could uh, get a glimpse of them, but the observers so far have not revealed them. Still a big potion of healing for the Naga. That is so important. It will be the, the, the weakest point of the army for sure. So uh, saving the Naga. Oh, he swapped it again, but he has a, uh, she has a town portal. So that's easy. Maybe it's time for Shishi now to expand. I think at this point it, it might just be too late for an expo. You might just want to wait uh, for the over there, exactly. exactly wait for the main tree to um, have uh, gotten rid of the original gold mine. I think that's Moon's plan right now. Get to 50 supply, si save as much money as you can, wait for all the gold to be mined out, and then go above 50 supply and hopefully have enough to defeat Shishi. But Shishi, he's already at 63. There's another big creep camp that will for sure be level four for the Naga. Oh man, I don't know. He's keeping tabs though. Demon Hunter sees this army walking around. He is trying to go for some base attack to keep his opponent busy, I guess. Yeah, of course, Moon wants every single point of experience that he can get. Maybe he has a chance to pick up a damaged unit here and there, or maybe the troll or whatever. But of course, he gets a lot of scouting information because of that. But maybe in the later fights, um, 
you need more than six inventory slots. You want heal potions, invul potions, mana potions, whatsoever. Here we see the first fork lightning. And the fight is breaking out, and he's again immediately going for the Naga. He, ne he knows, as you said, that's the weak spot of the army. But why is Moon fighting this? He's still at such a large supply disadvantage. Look at the bear numbers. TP has to be drawn here. And I don't think Moon can say in here. He's gonna try to maybe surround this. Oh, holy shit! He it's gets the surround. Is there TP? Is there invul? What is on his hero? We don't have him clicked, unfortunately. There's a big healing, but he has to use it. There's no TP! There's no invul, but he can get out. Can he get out? Oh, can he get out? out? The heal scroll. This is gonna be level six, I believe. Yes! Yes, it Holy is! Holy shit! And it the be up! The oh fifth place is back! Killing the hero, getting level 6! Huge advantage now for the Korean! And he still has that Envo Potion! 250 HP left! Everything is red! All his bears! He had that one card! And it's so hard to surround with bears! The Demon Hunter is so fast! It's so tiny! But he made it work! Moon. Magnificent play by Moon! Perfect! Perfect by Moon! finding that one opportunity and taking advantage of it. 2-1 upgrades, by the way, we see finally. But still, man, he's level 6, yes. But is that enough? He's up against 64 supply with 44. Only 44. And he has lumber problems. Oh, yes, he does. Yes, he absolutely does. The gold mines are not empty yet. This gives the Demon Hunter enough time to revive. 110 seconds, if I recall correctly, to get him back. He's going towards the shop right now. Wants to get some scrolls. He has an invul already. Oh, that metamorphosis is gonna have to do so much, but it's not like the splash damage rips apart the bears like it does casters. Because they are so big, you don't like hit four at a time, and they have so many hit Too points. But, but it's the chaos damage. And it's ranged. You can really snipe out uh, the other heroes yeah. because you have a lot more uh, damage uptime. And he's going for the aggressive stance again. We question it so much when we saw a fight right here just a few minutes ago or seconds ago. But he's down 17 supply once more. He, I guess he wants to hit before the Demon Hunter comes out. Yeah, I think so too. But there are so many wound wills he can heal. There's a shop. There's an engine of but war you, to save him. You know what? I think he's just trading. He just wants to deal as much damage as he can, not win the game here, just, you know, kill two bears, lose two bears, maybe. Because he is in no upkeep and Moon is in low upkeep. Uh, Shishi, you mean? Uh, Shishi, I mean. Yes, of course. Oh, nice read you there on the side. And there we see the fight breaking out. The Demon is taking quite a bit of damage, but he's so tanky, he can take the damage. Now one bear being saved. Oh! One lightning killing two bears at a time. One is being stabbed. And so far, the attempt to trade here hasn't been too successful. I don't think he has had any kills so far. And here comes the Demon Hunter of his opponent. And now he's losing more and more and more bears. The Dryad slowing. The Naga slowing. Everything is being slowed. And he loses so many bears. 38 supply versus 70. And there's still a huge amount of rejuvenation and Shishi, he will turn the tide now, he will attack in Moon's base, Metamorphosis is over, three, two minute cooldown, three minute cooldown, uh, yeah, it, it's a three minute cooldown and Moon has to survive your bigger heal potion again, he has plus 17 damage, uh, it's uh, Shishi of course, heal potion for Shishi, plus 17 damage and he's not that far away from level 6 either, okay, it's two thirds, but still he can make it. But I don't think he needs level 6, man. I think at this point the numbers, they're enough and they... What do they do? What do they do, Neo? The numbers don't lie. They spell disaster <laughs> for the legend. Unfortunately, this is of course only map number one. This is the best of three, so we will see more of this mirror after Echo Isles. And now Shishi, he smells his opportunity. He smells his victory more to the point and he's going for the Tree of Eternity. And Moon, where is he? He's in the middle of the map. 2-2 two, two upgrades for the bears of Shishi. They pack a punch, a serious punch right now, as one bear gets immediately mana burned. And Moon, he's not gonna try to defend this. He's gonna try to rat this game to victory to, yeah, base race it. But, well, there's no TP on his opponent's side, so I guess that's where he's got the idea from, if I'm not mistaken. But... Oh, can this work? Ah, I don't know, man. Moon is getting for the is, is going for the base trade. His own main is down. Can he get the revenge kill or uh, will his base be dead before him? I don't know if he can trade, but we will see. There's so many bears on the side of Shishi, but he's walking back. He's not going for the base trade. He wants to kill the army. Yeah, and Moon's army is in such a weird position. If he fights, that he's gonna be blocking himself out, and he can't TP anymore. There's no main tree. Yeah. He can't TP, and I don't. He has no mana for ultimate. He has no mana for ultimate. If it's even up yet, and the tree is down, yeah. But so what? And now the bears are flooding into their main base. They say, "This is my town. You better get the f out of here. You don't belong here, bro." And that's, that's it. A GG. That's GG.
Moon calling the GG, losing his first official comeback match after two years of no competition to Shishi. We didn't know much about him, about Shishi, but I think it was just a problem of Moon going for the expansion. The greedy expansion was just too much. But it was so close, man. He, he almost made it work. I thought, first I thought Shishi was uh, not gonna make it because he didn't have much and then the four bears showed up. Yeah. But that double slow, man, that was just so potent. Yeah. Focusing out those single targets with the Dryad and Naga slow and then adding um, the piercing damage from the uh, Berserkers as well. He was able to focus them out so quickly and it was so close. Just give him like 40 more seconds with that expo and I think he holds it. Yeah. He gets more mercenaries, he gets more money and he just somehow holds it off. That's true. It was pretty, pretty close but... Well, I'm curious what the second map is going to be. Of course, we have uh, Moon Meadows where his expansion play might be a little better. Oh, okay. And it is on uh, on Echo Isles. And by the way, that stream should we not make it like like this one? Yeah. I'm, uh, could we could we check uh, what looks better on Xbox? Um, yeah, the production is uh, a little tricky to say the least. Yeah, so in general, it's the same here than last year, but this time the, the uh, Zubu boys saved our ass. Uh, we are pretty thankful that they uh, provide us with a nice stream here. Yeah, of course, China has many issues when it comes to streaming because many sites are blocked, like Twitch, so you can't really upload to Twitch. So you have to use a VPN, which worked for the most part, but then they banned access to all VPNs <laughs> like two hours before everything started and we were like what the fuck is going on and now we're trying to make it work here over on Azubu um, I know not everyone has the link just yet but I hope the word is gonna spread so you guys can help us here greatly yeah. give the link out to I don't know some community pages your friends whatever your Skype groups because this is our, gonna be our official link we are right now uh, streaming on Azubu because on Twitch it is impossible yeah, on the technical side, not everything is perfect, unfortunately, but we're trying to make it work. We're trying to do our best here. You can believe that, and I hope you guys appreciate it at least a little bit. Okay, um, we'll see. I think uh, the players vetoed already, so we'll continue uh, to cast this year. Oh, okay, let's oh, wait a second. We had a pretty nice time here at Yinchuan. The hotel is, of course, uh, again, great. Rino is back. The equipment, well, it's decent, but uh, we'll work with it. Okay, Moon is coming back. Um, the map pool consists of seven maps. We have seen Aqua Isles. There's still Ancient Isles left. There is Twisted Meadows, Turtle Rock. Uh, we thought there would be Central Grove, but nope. They uh, changed it. Tarina Stand is in for that, and Secret Valley. And Last Refuge, I don't know if you mentioned that one. Okay, they're showing the replay here of uh, the surround, I believe. Oh no, it's a bit later. Oh, and that was the that was the defense at the expansion where Moon almost ho held it, and uh, the Naga kill is going to happen at some point. And yeah, he's just always on a slither of life. His team owner gets away, but there, yeah, there the game is pretty much over. It was just all the time that Moon found some ways to make it work despite the huge supply disadvantage. Yeah getting the Naga out of the fight, killing the Naga, surrounding the Demon, the, the biggest move of the game. Sure. But he took a lot of losses during uh, doing that. The Demon had a greater healing and also he used a heal sweat and of course evasion. Yeah. So during that time his bears took so much damage from the superior bear numbers that they, there were anyways. Yeah. But I think it was the right call to go for it. Level 6 Demon, maybe you can win the game with it. But in a bear mirror I don't think even it's that amazing. It's still of course very good. But so after this game, we will have camera control, we can join the games and uh, we will show you Fly vs Terra, uh, the best orc in the world against the best undead in the world. What better match uh, to follow the comeback of Moon. Exactly. And yeah, as you guys have seen, uh, can see right here, the stage is pretty big. Uh, you can't see it. Whoops. <laughs> I'm looking at the stream. Never mind. But. Yeah, we're, be we're being shown something yeah. from outside. But uh, we're still recording this best of three, so I don't want to um, interrupt this here right now. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, let's make a quick break. Uh, and uh, we'll be right back when the best of three continues. I think that yeah, will happen. Uh, Rocky Road, everybody. Rocky Road. The Chinese are a bit angry because there's a screen right, like right there, and uh, the people outside can can see it right now. But we'll fix it later. There are only five people, so okay. Okay, we have uh, the players again. Look at this beautiful stage here in Yinchuan for the Grand Championship. It is Moon versus Sushi Shi. Game number two. And Xi Xi, he is in the lead. The crowd favorite, perhaps? Well, actually not. He might be Chinese, but Moon, he's such a big star here. We saw him a lot of times at the venue, of course, and at the hotel. And every few seconds, he's just being stopped and he has to take pictures, like all the time. He is, I would say, on a, de on a comparable level with, uh, with Sky in his popularity. Because, well, obviously, he is the fifth race. He is the most accomplished player of all time. Nobody has made close to as much money as he has from this game, this beautiful game called Warcraft 3, of course. And now he wants to redeem himself. He wants to show that when he comes back, he's still the moon of the old times. He wants to show he can still hang with the best of them. But right now, he's trailing. He lost on Echo Isles, but now on Turtle Rock he wants to show how good he is. And Turtle Rock, this is close position. Oh boy, this by is, the way, this is really, really nice. We don't see that in Europe uh, that often because it's not allowed on W3 Arena. But of course, here we play the old, the official Turtle Rock version. And this, I'm really hoping for mass antenna wars and mass arches. I wanted to mention this as well. It is a meta game that is not really there anymore, but it was once. The, pretty much Knight of Mirror with Mass Engine of War and Archers, that was the standard. Today it's almost always Dryads and Bears. And if there was one map, one okay or one uh, situation that would call for that strategy, it was close position Echo Isles. Because when you put down <laughs> the Engines of War in the middle of the map, no one noticed, man, stop laughing. <laughs> when you put them down in the middle of the map, you gain so much map control because it's so hard for your opponent to push through those and if you get the map control here you can secure those big items in the middle the greater healing the greater invul and those are absolutely fight changing and game changing Definitely. and maybe if we're going to see it again here well let me just read a few titles that that moon um, accomplished in his 
12 year career. He started this in 2003, his first major title, the NBC Prime, as a Reign of Chaos player, man. Then the NBC Prime 4 in 2005, WEG1, WEG2, NBC Game 2005, NBC World War 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the Summer Grand Prix. That was so crazy, but yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. These players met actually at WCG in the group stage and Moon back then was able to take the map um, from him because it was best of one back then. Oh yeah, good old WCG best of one. This time it's a bit better. So uh, yeah, Moon here as the blue Night Elf, Shishi in the upper left as the red Night Elf. Both going for the uh, normal orange creep spot here to get the claw or circle or whatever. Yeah, they both want to get level 2 and then they might start getting aggressive. It's gonna be interesting to see here who feels the need to put on pressure or and who feels the comfortable just sitting back and playing this out defensively. But since it is close position of course, it is fairly easy to put on pressure. Uh, kill off some uh, moon that are in construction and stuff like that. And by the way, is it Moon in the blue now or not? Uh, yeah, Moon is in the blue right now. So now the overlay is correct basically from the Chinese uh, stream. And Moon took, took a bit too much damage there because he didn't pull the creeps far enough. So he used a little bit more Moon juice to uh, replenish his health. Usually not that big of a deal, but can make a little bit of a difference. And now Shishi going for the Ogre's Moon. Instant reaction with the Wisp, <laughs> seeing this coming and drawing his opponent away. And right now, we were wondering who was going to be the first guy to put on the pressure. And it is Moon. As we see on the minimap, his army is moving across. Yeah, lots of uh, scout Wisps across the map. He has a lot of information about what his opponent is up to. This Demon Hunter. Okay, Mana Burn exchanged most likely. Boom, there we go. Anyone with boots? No, nope. both players without boots here. Uh, they haven't quite uh, had the time to go to the shop yet and of course also pretty low on resources right now and moon he's just co uh, happy with yeah, keeping his opponent busy for the time being and i think right now both are gonna take a step back and take the ogres their respective ones of course it's great when you get both ogres on this map but that's something that happens very rarely especially in a night of mirror and look at the archer count this is not yeah. gonna be bears definitely five archers maybe mass range or the uh, before mentioned engine of war uh, war the ends will walk i see we have no hunters all for shishi in his base that's moon moon is oh. blue this time oh yeah Exactly, so question is, is it going to be Mass Archers or Ancient of War, which would be a treat to see once again, or Talons? Those are the two options, and seeing those, he, um, Shishi hasn't seen all the Archers yet, but he has seen quite a few, and I think he suspects this isn't going to be Bears. And Shishi having four Archers here, we now also know, nope, it's not going to be Bears for him either. And at the moment, this is a total mirror matchup. It's the same on both sides. Level 3 and the Pendant of m Energy is a very good one. And we just saw a Staff Teleportation being used. And he's trying to hunt for the Demon Hunter. Maybe he knows that he's really low. Uh, he doesn't really. Yeah, he gets the boots, I think. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he's going to the shop, trying to get something there. He's so... No, he didn't sell anything. The Pendant is on Shishi's side. Exactly. And there we see the Naga and the Ring of Regeneration. An item that isn't really great in the huge fights, but in these little scrappy engagements, it's absolutely perfect. So I can definitely see him keeping this item. And tier 3 for Shishi. So I believe it's Talons. Oh, there is actually yes. Ancients of Lore. Lore. One Ancient of Lore, at least. I think he'll go... Okay, there's the second one. I see. Oh, wow. I'm really surprised. Yeah, Shishi with a Huntress Hall as well. So this might be another Bear Mirror. That is so unusual to see. Yeah. So many archers, six archers versus four. Very but we, but I we think still see double bears. Yeah, I think both players were afraid of the big push. That uh, and yeah, that's why they built so much to be uh, to be safe. Moon trying to kill the engine of lore, but no, he escapes fairly easy. And uh, Naga as well, most likely. Yeah, so many archers, the Naga, slow and uh, focus fire coming after that is just so strong. And he can put on this harassment without too much trouble because again the, again, the Ring of Region gives him so much sustain at the moment. But he doesn't decide to go for the second hero. Is he again gonna play Demon Hunter solo? I feel that's just so risky, man. If you don't get off to a good start, quick level 5, quick level 6... Die, wow, it's so that's bad. Of or course you can easily pick up the archers now. Because there are so many of them, you will get a lot of experience. 
but it's definitely not gonna be enough. And he goes for the red cam. This is so dangerous. He knows there's a Naga on the opposing side. Without an engine of war, even. Yeah, but he's he's. I don't think think he can take this. And without an engine of war, it's not like he has dryads, slow. What is what is Moon doing here? He he can't take this cap maybe with kiting he can take it after a million years what's he doing he's losing <laughs> archers to the oh. creep right now and on the other Ooh. side there's his opponent but lucky for him she she isn't too close he could have easily lost two maybe even three archers there for nothing in return and moon man holy crap arino he it looks like he's taking such great risks again he's continuing creeping at the moment and Shishi tries to pick off the uh, reinforcements, just barely missing the Dryad, but now seeing it... Oh, quick reactions from Moon. Very good to keep that one Dryad alive, as his Demon Hunters keep stacking up, and that's a good item, that's something he needs. He gets the Claws of Attack to uh, accompany his Gloves of Haste already, and he's again trying to carry it with his first hero only. Level three Ooh. and a half for Moon. I don't really know the levels, but it will be uh, less, but I think he has a level three Demon Hunter anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Moon, okay, this time not going for the red spot, but Shishi will get the starting point. No, he was just scouting. Oh, the movement okay, is so nice. The yeah. movement is so nice. Moon just barely escaping his opponent. Shishi has absolute map control right now. He is by far stronger, and that's why he's being so aggressive. He tries to kill off everything he can, but he didn't accomplish anything. He's been hanging around on the left side of the map for at least two minutes now, and he didn't get, get a single kill. One archer was lost, yes, but it was only to creeps. So this Naga, so far, has basically accomplished nothing. Yeah. But then again, Moon, he didn't progress that much either, because his demon only kept uh, crept one little camp, and they are now going towards the bears. And again, Moon, yeah, he's, he's staying solo hero. We knew that Shishi does it once or twice, uh, once in a while, but no, he's reliant on his That's Naga. Great. So Moon is uh, kind of stealing the Shishi tactics. Still waiting for the big, for the first big clash in this game. Very, very passive play by both. And now that both sides have bears, they are going to be easily able to creep the middle of the map. And again, greater healing, greater invuls. These items so, are so important that usually we see contention for those creep camps. But no, Moon is going for the ogre. Gives a lot of experience. Maybe he's going to try to go, go level 5 as quickly as possible and then look for the fights and get level 6 as quickly as possible after that. Of course, we all know the ogre can drop amazing items. It's kind of a risky camp because it can be very good in terms of items and it can also be very, very bad. And Shishi is taking the middle. Found uh, one of Mana Stealing and a Scroll of the Beast. So two terrible items. Yeah. He hasn't found anything good so far. Killing off a few archers here because, of course, they are not as uh, good in terms of supply. And again, again, Moon going for the Expo. And Moon is very, very... He got the Cactus Pipe of Inside. Um, he's, he's got the Cactus Pipe of Inside. So a lot of mana on the bears. That means a lot of raw, a lot of uh, rejuvenation, obviously. And Moon is so lucky that... There's no info potion, no mana and potion. And look for the item, look for the item right now. Can be huge. Level 5, uh, by the way. No, no it's a wet of mana ceiling. But he's level 5. I think right now he wants to fight. Yeah. I think right now he wants to trade. Definitely, that's a good point. He, he set up the expansion and he wants the fight to distract now. But, oh, level 4 on the demon. I know, see, she, he wants to take some time out of the game to set his own expansion up. And here we see it. He attacks with an engine of war here <laughs> to distract. And uh, the bears will follow. And lots of archers, by the way, on both sides. Those are units that can be easily picked off if they are slightly out of position. But creeping continues. And also, Shishi will get a level 5 Demon Hunter soon. This creep camp won't be enough, but he, he's getting there. He's slowly getting there. And now we see Moon attacking the main. And killing those Moon Wells, man, is a big deal. That's a lot of healing lost. That is a lot of reproduction possibility lost. And there we see the quick TP. That's a bad position, I think, for the Naive. Look at the Demon Hunter for Shishi. He can't get in there. He can't fight. He's being blocked. But the Moonwell healing is, of course, very possible at the moment. Double mana burn exchange. Scroll of healing coming in from Moon. But he's chewing through those bears. Also, heal scroll from Shishi. But now the first few bears will die. And remember the experience from Moon. Yeah, once again, level 1600 is absolutely possible. Oh, Shishi is in problems. Invo Potion being popped on both sides, actually. Will he stay alive? I don't think so. Oh, the bears, another bear for Shishi down. Nice, Micro saving it, but same goes from Moon's Demon Hunter. It's trapped outside the base, isn't it enough? Oh, he gets a potion, are you kidding me? 
Only 288 uh, HP remaining. He was so close to dying, and again, he just wants to find a pick, few pickoffs. Kill a bear here, kill a bear th bear there. He just wants to get level six. And remember, there's an expansion behind this. And oh. now his demon, yeah, he needs to TP out. Needs to TP out, and all the archers have been saved. Never mind, oh, one dies one. on the way out. But that's actually those archers. You usually say they're not that good, but when you have that close of a position, he was fighting in that little narrow choke. If all of that was just bears, it's not that good. And with all those archers, he could uh, snipe single targets. And he just wants to get experience. And I think that was a bad TP from Shiki. He TP'd away from his shop. He didn't yeah. have a staff. And that staff is so important. Because the Demon Hunter from Moon, I think he's like... Uh, two thirds on his way to level six, mm -hmm. something like that, and now his expansion is paying him off. And look at the number of bears. I think that's like 62 supply, 64 supply, yeah, something more, like that. Yeah, 64, 64 against 50 of Shishi. Calling it, bro. <laughs> really nice. And of course, there's the expansion for Moon, so it's not getting uh, less income for him. 14 gold per second versus 10. Uh, of course, a little information for Shishi now. There's still a lot of archers alive. Yeah, and Shishi's game plan here was, all right, if you go for this Demon Hunter, I'm just going to put so much pressure on you early on, you're not going to find your levels. I'm just going to kill your stuff when it, com when it comes out and you're not going to be able to creep. But it just didn't work. He just didn't have the positioning. And now Moon, single hero, it's paying off. He's in such a great position. He's going in with anti-magic shell, really nice, being dispelled though. But there's no more mana burn that's punishing him at the moment, taking so much damage. But he's just being rejewed up and there was no abolished magic for such a long time. Now retreating and look at the bare numbers, man. And by the way, nice micro on both sides, drawing them back, and that might be the first bear kill here. Level six! Here we go, metamorphosis! Oh, it's beautiful! It's amazing! And here we see the splash damage coming in. Reinforcements, of course, very close to Shishi's base, but all the moon wells pretty much are dry. Moon, he might just be able to chew through this, but somehow his bears, where have they all gone? Yeah, a lot of them are dead, and two will follow. There's once again no Steph. For Moon, he's not able to save them. Maybe he thinks, okay, my micro is good enough, but you see one bear dies after another. Shishi is winning this fight against the ultimate of a demon hunter. Are you kidding me? 57 food remaining for Moon. I think it's still 50 for Shishi, a little less. He started production again. 100 gold left, so there's no healing or anything. He even has a mana potion on the demon hunter. Not something we see every day. By the way, he sold the brilliance aura? Yeah. Oh, that would be so great in this moment yeah. right here to get all the extra mana region But he wanted to have as much money as quickly as possible to be trading more effectively to get closer to level 6 But Shishi it seems like he doesn't think he has the strength at the moment to fight his opponent He's gonna instead <clears throat> himself take a red creep camp, and I think that should be double level 5 for him Ah, never mind. He's quite a bit away. I thought he was closer yeah, but this might be level 5 for him and maybe a big item as well. I don't really know the level of the Naga, but... Uh, and the Naga is level 3. Fork Lightning will hit him hard. The, uh, the question is, will Shishi follow up that expansion by an expansion of his own or not? Questions also about the uh, upgrades. Oh, again the Tome of Experience for him. And the Watch <laughs> And the Endurance Aura. This is the dream, everybody! That's absolutely amazing. More attack speed, more movement speed for the bears, and of course the tome. That's, uh, that's a jackpot dinging right there. 58 supply for Shishi, but again, no expansion. But the Naga, of course, one more hero makes a big difference. Can the ultimate for Moon be good enough to take this for him, win this for him? Oh! oh! Alchemist second! Are this you serious? Is so nice. Are you A serious? Acid bomb. <laughs> yeah, he equips him with a mana potion. Okay, swaps it back. There's one one upgrades by the way on Moon's bears I just saw. I would love to see the upgrades on Shishi. I could definitely see Shishi having better upgrades because he was going into upkeep a lot later. So maybe he invested into those. Two one, two one upgrades now for Moon, the Korean legend. 66 supply, they're meeting in the middle of the map. Does Moon want to take this fight or does he want to wait for more supply? 70 supply now, but it's still in the Ancients of Lore. And yeah, Moon, he wants to wait. He wants more time from that expo to get more gold. Yeah, he wants more uh, more items, I guess. He's positioning himself right to the shop so he can always buy more heal scrolls if he wants to. And here we go, there is Acid Bomb. That supports him 2-1 for Shishi as well, but look at the armor melting. And there's no dispel from the Giants for that. Once again, he's chasing the Naga. Mana burn coming in. Ooh, mana potion being used here. Bear versus Bear. Moon supports himself with a scroll of protection. And this is, of course, uh, twice as good. Shishi's bears are melting. 
Where's the demon hunter? Metamorphosis now! He will pick up the pieces! Double kill! kill! And yeah, so beautifully chases the Naga away, keeps the heroes busy, and his alchemist with his total protection and the acid bomb just easily wins the bear fight, even saving his second hero. But now Demon Hunter might need to be careful. There's no invul, no TP on him. By the way, Naga fully healed up again. Demon Hunter going towards the shop, probably getting a TP to use if necessary. But yeah, he's winning this fight. He's winning it handily. Oh, oh, oh. 39 supply only remaining for Shishi. And there is 70 still for Moon with that expansion in his back. This looks very good for him. The Alchemist, the Armor Reduction, the Armor Addition with the Scroll of Healing made such a big, big, big difference. And of course, uh, the Demon Hunter at the end with the Ultimate once again. But I think he really, really needed the Alchemist or at least one second hero just as a carrier for the items. Yeah, that's a good point. With one hero, one of the big problems in late game that you run into is that you're totally slot starved. And yeah, you're right. Getting those extra slots for the scrolls is such a huge deal. And now Shishi with his back against the wall. Only 1,900 in the gold mine remaining, as we can see right here. And Moon at a commanding 70. I imagine he's going to be going up to 80 now. Get all the items he wants from the shop and get all the remaining upgrades. And Shishi has to be asking himself, how do I possibly win this? Or maybe he just stays in here to think about the next match because of course Shishi is up 1-0 so if Moon wins this which is not looking bad we have a last and final game on our hands as the Alchemist continues creeping level 3 acid bomb is gonna be soon on his way don't least lose the bear to creeps please <laughs> Ooh, know. very close he knows what he's doing what's the item here it is okay well that adds up once again yeah it's a little bit more armor it's uh, it's decent it's decent so I think he'll do the trick again. We'll see the Acid Bomb level 2, we'll see the Scroll of Protection and now the Devotion Aura. Or maybe he skips the Scroll of Protection just because of the Devotion Aura. We'll see about that. But more creeping, more levels for the Alchemist to make him a little more stable. Oh, hey. he doesn't pick up the item. <laughs> a little too quick. Why did he Why did he TP out? I don't know. What? Uh, maybe he wants to go for the main base now and doesn't uh, uh, want to... I, I think that was just a misclick, honestly. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe he wanted to swap an item. And uh, he has a staff. Maybe he just bought the staff, though. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter that much. Maybe he thought Shishi was just around the corner and he wanted to position himself because, of course, positioning is vital in Bear Mirror. It, it looked like a mistake, though. But it doesn't matter. It was just a small mistake. And Moon is still looking very, very strong. 80 supply right now. Two, two upgrades. A lot of scrolls on his heroes. Demon Hunter of his opponent doesn't even have an invul. No invul, by the way, also on the Alchemist. Something that could be uh, added here. But Moon doesn't care. Wisps are coming in as well for the detonate against the raw, most likely and possibly if there is a scroll of protection. Here we go. Fork Lightning and the ultimate, the Metamorphosis. And also we see the Acid Bomb coming in. Nice wisp from behind to dispel the raw. Very well done. Actually not hitting that much. And now we see the scroll of protection. And it's a pretty good conquer if actually for Shishi, but the numbers, the numbers were in his favor this time, but not, uh, last time, but not here on Turtle Rock. No, definitely not. The Demon Hunter in problems, heals himself up on the moon, well, the Scroll of Protection, uh, yeah, some kind of, uh, uh, nothing, but GG, whatever, it's the Equalizer! The Legend is back into this game, back into this best of three. He finds his footing on Turtle Rock, it was again the risky, risky Demon Hunter only strategy. Sushi, he tried to punish it as hard as, hard as he could, but he, he was just always a few seconds too late or a few seconds too early. And suddenly you see this level 5 Demon Hunter, he attacks you with an expansion in his back. He gets closer to level 6 and pretty cool game plan here from, from Moon. Definitely. And I think this again shows championship character. Yeah. He, he's behind one map, but he still chooses the risky strategy yeah. and he makes it work and he makes it a tight series. Okay, there's one more map to go. I think it was, it's always a good advantage for Moon if the map is bigger. So maybe Last Refuge or Twisted would be great for him. We don't know the vetoes though, but uh, all the other remaining maps would be a little smaller. Um, yeah, Twisted I guess. Uh, sorry, did you just say Twisted? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, definitely all the other maps would be smaller. But then again, Turtle Rock of course is very big. But getting to level 5 with a single hero isn't that difficult on any map. And I would, I would venture to say that creeping 
in that uh, vulnerable stage with the Demon Hunter only, where the Naga from her uh, opponent is out, is actually very difficult on uh, Turtle Rock. But he did make it work before. Twice we saw single Demon Hunter. Is he gonna go for the triple? Every win is so important here. It's a, it's a map, uh, it's a group of four Night Elves. And Night Elf Mirror is always a bit dicey. Sometimes it's, it comes down to one position in, uh, on the map or one dropped item that changes everything. So you can never say, oh, he's definitely gonna win that uh, for sure, especially not on this level. Yeah. We have here the WCA. And uh, what a cool series. We have to start things off. Many people dislike Knight of Mirror, but I think this is a perfect example of how awesome Knight of Mirror yeah. can be. We, and even though we only saw bears, we only saw bears so far, but still, I really enjoyed it, especially Echo Isles was yeah. such a nail biter. But on Turtle Rock again, Moon shows his strength, his class. At the Back to Warcraft uh, round table, Raphael said, Oh, she, she trained a lot of talents. Yesterday we talked to Law Lion and he said, Oh, Moon, he practiced a lot of talents. So far only bears. By the way, outside our window, we right now see the volunteer from last year. Really? Yeah. Olivia. Olivia, exactly. Shout out to her. Didn't you recognize her? I have, I'm just ah. looking at the screen like a pro and not at the people. At the screen right now we see a dude, yeah. who is, by the way, apparently a hand of the king. Here and we are, two us. dudes! Hello folks! It's only gonna be a matter of a few minutes, or maybe even seconds. I should put this away. <laughs> yeah, we are waiting. M Moon was sweating a lot, actually. Maybe uh, the lights are a little too hot for him. Or it's, uh, you, you think he gets nervous anymore? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so either. He's been around. But maybe the block. Ex exhausted. Well, he had some some uh, training at at the army, I think. So his physical uh, uh, his physical um, constitution, constitution uh, seems to be a lot better than the past years. Yeah, of course, if you guys uh, are just tuning in and are surprised, what is Moon doing here? I thought he, he was gone, and of course he was such a big legend. Yeah, his army service, he completed his army service, yeah. it's two years or what it is. And now he's coming back, he wants to play Warcraft again. He wants to continue playing Warcraft the next year. And right here at WCA is where he wants to shine again, where he wants to show the world how good he really is. And obviously we know he is quite amazing. Yeah, he is a father now. Uh, some people say he's, he, he's the father of two kids, some people say the father of one kid. Uh, we'll ask him, I think, in the next couple of days, but uh, on the Welcome Back Moon show, he said, Oh, yeah, I got a, I got a boy, he's like five or six years old, and he beats me at Mario Kart. <laughs> I would love to see that. Yeah, Moon's child. The, the likelihood that he's pre that he could, good at games is pretty high. Yeah. I mean, what it's better genes, genes can you exactly. get? Precisely. So, Moon, let's just spitball a little bit here, let's, let's make a few assumptions. Moon, coming here to this tournament, we knew he was going to take it serious, we saw. He practiced a lot, as much as he could anyways, to get in shape. What do you think his uh, aspirations are, here are? What, how far do you think he wants to go? He wa I, I think if you're Moon, then the only thing that matters is number one. Yeah, I think so too. It's the gold medal, definitely. I, I think if he doesn't get first place, he's going to be disappointed. Yeah. If he gets second place and it's a close match and he does his best, I think it's not going to be enough for Moon. Definitely. He's just a champion. And it's so crazy. We saw um, at the ESL Shanghai, we saw Grubby coming back. And I'm pretty sure that Grubby practiced a lot before, um, but it wasn't too inspiring, too too good, his, his performance. And Honestly, Moon's it was pretty damn bad. <laughs> you can put it like this, yeah. And Moon is back. Of course, he has great uh, practice um, methods here with the NetEase client in, in, in China. It's just awesome. You can meet Infi on ladder, you can meet TH on ladder, and the ping is from, from Korea pretty okay. Um, so the practice conditions were a bit better for Moon than for Grubby, but he's on top. He's back in the top four of the world next to the likes of Fly and Infi and TH. Well, in the ladder he is, yeah, if he is in fact on LAN in the important matches, that is still yet to be seen. But yeah, speaking of the NetEase ladder, NetEase is a new client that has been introduced in China to play on. And they, um, 
they announced a ladder contest where the top eight of the ladder will be invited to uh, to an offline tournament and Moon is actually in two places <laughs> of the top eight ladder. Um, the only player to have two accounts in the top eight along of course with uh, Infi and Tara. Tara, another player, is actually number one at the moment and Fly and TH and all the other great Warcraft players that we're used to seeing. But yeah, Moon definitely making his presence known in that ladder. And that's also going to be an interesting tournament to watch uh, following shortly after WCA actually. That's true. But yeah. Beginning of next year. I think this is where he really wants to prove himself. A big offline tournament. This is pretty, this is pretty, the big one. Oh, by the way, pretty reminiscent of WCG. We have lots yeah. of different games here, lots of different countries are present. And Moon, there's one thing he never won. It is the WCG. He wanted it so bad and it was his goodbye uh, tournament. And then he failed against TH in the big finals. So this is, I don't know if he thinks the WCA counts as much as WCG because of course the WCG has had 11 years of history but this might be his chance to finally win the world championship and here we see him shortly before we jump into the game and as I predicted it that it's last refuge absolutely right last refuge a very interesting map because it has lots of uh, narrow chokes lots of narrow car corridors so fighting with mass bears is pretty damn difficult here because none of all, uh, not all your bears will be able to attack at the same time. So maybe with fewer bear numbers but superior upgrades, you can still win the fight. So last refuge might just uh, hold some surprises for us in store. That is right. If you're not too familiar with the uh, Shushichi, by the way, he is um, the fourth player of the WCA Pro qualifier in China and he's the runner-up from the J-League 2015. He only lost uh, to TH 1-3 to in the grand final but before he beat Infi 2-1 to and in the quarterfinal Nicker in the Night of Mirror 2-0. to So uh, he's not he's not a nobody here in China. He's like the fourth guy. Yeah, and pretty much in China he is without any question the number one Night of. Yeah. And that is uh, quite a feat, of course. And yeah, last refuge, we see the early game. And as oftentimes it is the case in an Eye of Mirror, the greedy creep cam will be taken, but usually you can't be punished. Like, for example, Echo Eye of you can't really punish that. But on last refuge, you can run over with the Demon Hunter immediately and try to go for the Ogre and possibly for the Tower of Experience. But if you run over there and get nothing, then it's a big waste of time. Yeah. So already going to be interesting to see how much, uh, how many eggs they put in this basket or if they just both stay defensive. Last game it was Moon going on the aggressive initially, then falling back, then Shishi being aggressive. Yeah. Moon interestingly with uh, three wisps, not really necessary, so he invests a lot into the repair of his engine of war. Maybe that's a sign that he predicts the uh, aggression from Shishi? Wait one minute, Moon is uh, red. Ah, time. it changed. So uh, it's really uh, uh, confusing that they yeah. switch around the colors all the time. So now, dear audience, keep in mind, moon is red, moon is red, moon is red. The overlay is kind of confusing in that way. And he finds the scroll of the beast and we all know, nope, that's not what you want. No, definitely not a Knight of Mira because it's so easy to dispel later. And of course you have raw anyway. So Shishi sold, uh, sold his item as well, got a circle for that and dust. So yeah, I think she, she expected Moon to be super aggressive, that's why he got uh, three Wisps. Yeah, one of his Wisps got ensnared, so I think he just brought three in case oh, okay. one gets ensnared, so he still can repair with two. No Tone of Experience dropped, I think one Strength for Moon and Agility for uh, his opponent. So a little bit better for Shishi, but not like it's gonna, uh, gonna decide the game, of course. And yeah, total mirror matchup so far, everything is looking exactly the same. Yeah, that's huge. You always want to go for that troll spot because it's very easy to creep, it's decent experience and you might get a watch award or a wand of illusion and especially in bear mirror you can uh, put that wand to good use. That is exactly right. The wand of illusion doesn't seem too good because you can attack with the units you summon. It can also be used for scouting but when you're using the bear mirror and those illusions tank so many hits for you it can make a world of difference. But is he gonna reserve that one item slot until the very late game? It's also a question to be asked. As now finally Moon is uh, doing the same, getting the item. It is a 
Replenishment potion, good for early game, but not comparable in the late game, of course. Maybe now, because of this potion, gonna try to go for some harass yeah. and take some damage himself. Exactly. So, Shishi is doing almost the same here. Uh, trying to get some wisp, trying to get some spies out of the game. And Moon, he doesn't know the, the hiding place, it seems. Oh, is he gonna find it in time? Yes, he is. Well, he should uh, practice with Foggy. <laughs> <laughs> Foggy knows all the secret of the spots for the wisps. Loses one wisp there uh, with a detonate, doesn't give up experience. So he loses a little bit of lumber, but one wisp, uh, that's manageable. Very early Hunter's Hall, by the way, from Shishi. And see that? hidden. Yeah, and hidden, hidden yeah, it's prox kind of proxy, uh, whatever. We know that from, from the European Night Elves. They, they, they play it a lot. Like, very early Huntress Hall, very early Huntress, just to be safe. Um, but yeah, Shishi is adapting here. Moon, going the standard route. The route that he kind of invented, perfectioned. Yeah, and he's again going for these many archers. One unfortunately getting ensnared here. A nice block with the illusion, but blocking with his demon hunter in turn, but not quite enough. So yeah, Huntress is very good. Oh nice, the block comes in even more. And another and end snare! Oh, oh, oh. Pretty unlucky for Moon! He loses the second archer, tries to shut him out, but of course not possible. Moon, uh, okay, Shishi now has to be careful with his demon hunter. And that's pretty painful, man. It's two archers dead. It's four supply, that is 80 experience, more importantly. And also the Huntresses, he now saw the Huntresses, and when you have a good number of, of archers, like five, I'd say, you can snipe them out decently well. Yeah. But losing two so early, and there's more Hunters on the way, this is gonna be basically total map control for Shishi, but there's a level three demon right now. His opponent is not there yet, but thanks to the archers, he will be kind of close, I think. And yeah, I think Shishi again is gonna go for the pressure. Is Moon gonna be able to evade as well again? That's the question. We know Shishi is a big, big, big fan of Ancient Protectors. Maybe that's coming as well, but I don't really expect this. Moon, for the first time, uh, with an early second hero. We see the oh. Naga. Oh! It's Double Ancient of Win, it's Talons! And of course, with the Hunter's Hall, you absolutely reveal the fact that you're gonna play uh, Bears. I guess you can not play Bears, but that never happens. The transition is just so natural, you have the Hunter's Hall already. You have the uh, Huntresses to carry you over until you have Master Bears. It's just a very natural thing to do. And with that knowledge, he knows, all right, my talents with Master Training, with Magic Damage and Cycle are gonna be very good. And now we see the Huntress coming in, but this is a Naga with slower, obviously, but she's... Uh, vulnerable at the moment because level 2 mana burn hurts really really bad and nice block coming in from Shishi. Will it be enough for the kill? The TP is being swapped but that's a good pick off already. Definitely. Definitely Shishi's advantage uh, is getting bigger and bigger. He's going for the standard bear fight but he's getting a Naga as well. The Keeper of the Grove would have been an opportunity but of course Moon will put on so much pressure here with the talents, with the Naga, whatever, that you really need some time to get the Keeper working to level 3 or whatever for Entangle level 2 or the Aura. So the Naga definitely the better choice. Yeah, but I think his tech is a little bit late. A Moon's tech, I mean by that. Because he got double Ancient of Wind immediately and I think only after that he started uh, teching. And we all know Talents, they're pretty good units, but they're totally, totally horrible without Master Training. So he's giving his opponent a lot of time to be strong. And I think right now Shishi could be attacking... Uh, well, I don't know, maybe not. He doesn't, have, he doesn't have Dryads yet, but once he has Dryads, I think he's very strong. So right now Moon taking the time, the little time that he has, taking uh, the Mercenary Camp. And solo creeping is Shishi for his Naga finding. Oh, nice. The Very mana good item. Mana stone. A lot of regeneration, oh, of course. Can, mask. can be used as a potion, but oh. yeah, Sobi Mask also great on the other side. But yeah, as um, if you're Shishi, would you go for Mass Dryads now? Ooh. I think they're, they are super vulnerable to archers, but against talents, they're amazing. Yeah, of course, they can't be Cyclone, they have good damage types. But you don't have Reju, and when you have Ancients of Lore already anyways, the Reju is just so good, because your opponent doesn't have Dryas, he doesn't have Dispel, so Reju is just incredibly strong. Moon has to be careful with his Demon Hunter here, thank god it's not a Blade Master, Critical Strike would have killed it. But yeah, okay, he sees the talent now, he knows what's going on. Five at a time, 37 food for Shishi. And he's just creeping. Yeah. 
he's, he's just keep creeping and by that we can see he's not going to be playing mass riots. He's one, he wants to stay defensive, he wants to get his time up to get uh, bears. At least everything else would uh, greatly surprise me. And by the way, the Invis Demon Hunter, he sniffs it out, he wants that Ogre Magi. But he has no items, man, this is so dangerous. He could get revealed. He's going for the oh. Mana Burn kill. Is there Master though on the talent? I don't think there is. So the item goes towards the Naga, I'm not sure about the experience, to be honest. I'm pretty sure the Mana Burn killed him. But the uh, the item is very good. The uh, healing... Um, what's it called again? The healing wards. Well, it's not that good for casters because they don't have a big healing pool, but there's not much uh, range on Chichi's side. And the Naga, she just keeps on creeping. He's level 3 right now, and the Fork Lightning, man, it's gonna become a big problem for the cast. Oh, look at this! <laughs> Resistance <laughs> course! We will see Mountain we Giants! We forgot about it. We totally forgot about it. In Europe, we see it actually fairly often against Talons. Mountain Giants, Dryads and Mountain Giants. What an opening to this awesome WC, uh, uh, WCA. We saw Ultimate Demon Hunter, we saw Epic Game on Turtle Rock, and now we have Mountain Giants in game. Tinker Third. Tinker Third as well. You have so much range, you have so many squishy units, you want something to block in front. Mountain Giants, they take some time, man, and they double upgrades, and they cost seven supply and a lot of time to build. And Moon, he wants to put on the pressure right now. This he wants is, of to course, his signature strategy. This is what made him so, so famous against Zork, the Talon play. Back then it was Talons and Archers, and that's what we're seeing right now. Cyclone coming in, and Shishi basically has nothing to work oh, with. Perfect position of that healing ward. And yeah, everything that's dangerous is being cycled or attacked. Here we see a mountain giant coming out right now, but only one. But now suddenly there's three, but it's fake mountain giants. And of course, Moon knows it, but they're being attacked so quickly. And there's no damage output right now. The, ma the Naga has been drained of mana so quickly. The fog lighting is no issue. And now even proxy Moon ancients of war. Is dominating this fight. Oh boy, Shishi is losing um, units left, right and center. He's going for the Naga. Instant TP. And he can put up the pressure now, so... Oh, a pocket factory here would be so awesome, but he's crawling forward. More engines of war, and what can Shishi do against this? He needs some glaive throws or whatever, but I don't think he has an engine of war ready. And definitely not the time. And this is so much pressure, there's so little in, in the tank for Shishi. 36 supply only. How is he supposed to do this? The movements are all dry, he's next to his top, he uses potion of healing, maybe a hero kill. That was Moon's tickets to somehow stay in the game of Echo Isles. Oh, but he has so little damage output. How good the the heal ward, the first heal ward was just perfect. Maybe saved or won him the game. Here comes Fork Lightning. Can a desperation move? He's down to one mountain giant, one dryad and his heroes. And now the engines of war are getting ready and they want uh, to tear down the, uh, the Tree of Eternity for sure. It's gonna be such a huge blocker. Good damage against the Moon Wills. Second Mountain Giant is almost out, and you said it before, Shishi is a big fan of the Ancient Protectors. They are of course very good against the unarmor of the Talons, and I don't really think Moon can get in there, so the tower of the Ancient Protector will come up, Fog Lightning double killing a Wisp, and giving the level up for the Demon Hunter level 4, I do believe. Does he have the time? Can he somehow hold on? The ends are moving, the Ancients of War! They are setting siege to Shishi's base, Clarity on the Naga. I think she needs to carry this. The Fog Lightning needs to carry this, but can it really happen? By the way, it turned night again. So the Moonwells will now regenerate, but the Mountain Giants take so much mana to get back up in HP. And of course, the, the Demon are always being drained of mana. It also costs him a lot of mana uh, from the Moonwells to get up in, in good shape. Now Moon shopping. He wants to get the potions and the items. He might be overextending here, but that's a little too early to call. He's going in. Maybe not. No, 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 no. But the Clockwork Goblins are doing a decent job against the Mountain Giants. And it's so hard to get them back to full HP. Altar of Elders is down. The next Moonwell is down. And the ants are crawling forward here. Of course, they do additional damage against the Mountain Giants. There's nothing they can do about it. But Demon Hunter of Moon is low HP. Maybe this is an opportunity. Never mind. He was stabbed out and saved. And the movements, of course, on Moon's side are pretty healthy. As we can see, Demon Hunter immediately back to full HP. By the way, that inventory. Double circlet, double claws, orb and invul. And fairy fire now also on the mountain giants. They don't take much damage. But over time it will probably be enough. 
two bears now as well for Shishi, but look at how they melt pretty quickly if he focuses it with everything. The Angel of War drawing the army out and now Shishi's going out. He thinks there's no Demar, alright. If I can fight at some point, I can fight now, but the Demar is coming back. Level 2 for the Tinker and now all of the units are just melting away. The anti-magic potion is not enough to win this game, it doesn't look like it, but this is the last map. Shishi wants to stay in this to do anything he can. And the Naga still looks pretty healthy. One Mountain Giant left, 50 food for Moon, and of course two Engine of War 3 and 4 are coming. Next for Lightning, but he's not killing anything. He's not leveling at all, and Moon once again with the Keel Ward. But there's Diving two, in. There's two more Ancient Protectors. Oh, the Demon Hunter, the Demon, oh. but the Staff should be ready, but he doesn't want to pursue too far. He goes back to the safety of the Moonwells. By the way, only three remaining. This Heal Ward, man! This Heal Ward is damn MVP of this game! All three Heal Wards were absolutely placed perfectly. They healed so much, I think Shishi was not able to kill one. It only takes like two shots to kill that Heal Ward. The positioning of that, absolutely gorgeous. He's trying to fight back with bears now, but Moon, look at this. It's growing, the victory is growing on him. And by the way, it wasn't Ancient Protectors back there, it was Moonbelt. Oh, the Naga in terrible, terrible position. She has the Heal Scrolls. Is it going to be enough anti-magic shell for the Demon Hunter to continue per uh, pursuit? But there is again... Oh, nice. By the way, he dispelled the anti-magic shell with the Shadow Priest, then Cyclone, then Surround. This is awesome. And this might be the win for Shishi. The Demon Hunter trying to fight out, but no chance. First hero goes down, and the Legend Moon, the fifth race, is coming back from a 0-1 a zero, a zero um, start here in this tournament. And this is just going from bad to worse. His first hero died and now it's daytime. No more regen yeah. for the Moonwells. And look at his army. Everything is low. Everything wants to be healed. And I think Moon now, he's feeling the confidence. Ancient of Wars over and over and over. Hitting this base yeah. like a tidal wave. They're just not stopping. They won't let down until this game is won. Until Moon can once again show his world class. Demon Hunter has been bought back. But again, he's low. He's healing up a bit again. But the army to the north. The mountain giant falls, so does the bear, that's a level up, and now Moon, he's just in the face of his opponent. Tree of Eternity like the Tower of Isengard, and it's GG, and it's Moon. No sign of an emotion in his face, but his fans, his fan club is here. You see it, they are celebrating the fifth race. Warriors of the Night assembled. Shishi, pretty disappointed, I think. He had the chance. Yeah. To win, to win this game. And Mo Moon didn't show much emotion there, but I'm pretty sure inside he feels a big relief falling off his shoulders because he now proves, all right, I am on the top level yeah. again. I am world class. You guys have to fear me. I'm back and you better know it. But Shishi, he's good. Don't get me wrong, but there might be better players out there. Definitely. Yeah. But Moon, this is, this is a good start. This is a good start. Definitely, definitely. Looking good for him so far in this group. Uh, let's check this out. 